How's it going guys? My name is System Z and today we are going to do another tutorial for interior design. This is a rustic bedroom. Now I'm gonna start doing these kind of as a side series or a sub series of the building tutorials. Think of it like a Minecraft IKEA. Uh, I normally like to teach like philosophy of building rather than just here place this block place this block place this block but this particular subgenre of building tutorials will kind of be more based on that so you can kind of copy the design and expand upon it not saying I won't teach some you know tips and tricks on the way but just kind of a general design tutorial. So this is the second one, the first one was the kitchen. In this case, I wanted to do a rustic bedroom and I think I pulled that off really, really nicely. Anyways, let's go ahead and get straight on with the tutorial. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you have a thumbs up to give out, I don't know, maybe, maybe share it and give it to me. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy. All right, so as usual, before we begin, we're going to go over the spec list for the room as well as a brief material list. So the room itself is 7x7, seven seven, but the actual interior only takes up 7x5. So uh, you can kind of get away with 7x6, seven but 7x7 seven seven just makes it look the most open and you just have a nice amount of leg room and it complements the room nicely. As for the design that I have going on here, I wanted to go with a rustic bedroom, so I went with a rustic design. Uh, this isn't necessarily a tutorial on how to build walls or a ceiling or anything like that, but I will have a tutorial soon kind of explaining the process I go through when creating structures like this. But anyways, let's move on to the list of materials. You can see it all here. I'm just going to leave this open for a moment. Uh, but the main things that I did want to talk about were the player heads and the banners. So I got a question in the last interior tutorial uh, about where to get the player heads. There's a link down below from the database that I use to get these. You basically just click on the one you want, pop the command into a command block, and press a button, and you'll have that specific player head. Very easy. I use it for all of my builds so link below for that and the second link will be for a tutorial on how to do these banners to create drawers and cabinets which are a necessity in this build so let's go ahead and get started we are going to place three bookshelves along the top just like that and I'm gonna go through the main blocks first and then we'll work on adding the detail and this is actually an important step in building interiors. You're just going to want to place the main you know, blocks first and then decorate later because you might change things around and you don't want to have to break doors and trap doors down all the time. <laughs> but I know the bed is going to go right here in the center. So I'm going to build a 3x4 bed. And we essentially have the mattress here where the pillows will lay on. I'm using snow for that. And then our wool color of choice, mine is red. And that will be a 3x3. Three three. This kind of creates the comforter and it looks all tucked in. And I'm going to add carpet along here. This kind of makes it look like it's folded over. Uh, you know, which is something beds do when they're typically made. People typically fold the mattress, or not the mattress, the uh, comforter over with the pillows nicely aligned and perked up on the top, or perched up on the top. And I'm not going to add snow here yet, but eventually we will do something like that to kind of create pillows. But first, we're going to have to create uh, this shelving design with these. Otherwise, the snow would just go away. So we're going to take these gates and essentially stack them up just like that. And then break the bottom ones, open them up, and throw a trap door right under it. Now we can go ahead with the snow. So I'm going to do two layers to kind of fluff up the pillows a bit. You could do three if you wanted. You could do... Uh, you know a random design out of it maybe make it a little bit higher up in the center I always go with two it just seems like the perfect amount really soft pillows and just kind of makes it look nice so the next thing I'm gonna do is grab our spruce wood planks and I'll go ahead and grab the doors as well and we're gonna basically lay out all of the furniture so I'm gonna start with a cabinet kind of design here like a closet maybe uh, and then a nightstand there and then a simple uh, dresser right there. And we are going to go ahead with the doors and just kind of face this way and place them like that. So it's kind of like the uh, closet doors. Well, let me see if that one, there we go. Uh, so you kind of notice it's not actually a shelf. There isn't anything in there. You could use stairs if you wanted, but I just don't really ever see it necessary because 
uh, unless you have it open you know intentionally but since there's only a one block gap here I'm not gonna have it open because it'll block a piece that's gonna be in the corner here uh, but if you did have it open you could use stairs kind of to create shelves but like I said I didn't really see it necessary next we're gonna place wooden trap doors on the top just to kind of complete it and that will be that for the cabinet or the closet and the next step is to get a cauldron a water bucket and spruce leaves we're gonna throw this here in the corner I always use a cauldron and water uh, when I'm doing when I'm doing plants it just kind of completes the design makes it look like it's you know being taken care of and the reason I chose spruce um, leaves I just feel like that kind of has a you know tie into rustic builds in Minecraft everyone usually uses spruce trees and spruce leaves whenever you see rustic styling like it just I feel like the other ones would be a little bit too vibrant and this is well I mean this is vibrant as well but I don't know I don't know why I chose it. you could really use any one that you want uh, one that might actually look good is birch let me see um possibly I just kind of like the texture of spruce it's kind of why I do it and the reason I'm placing it there in the corner is because once we place more stuff over here colors will kind of complement each other and since it's tucked away behind the closet it just kind of creates a complete effect like this is something I normally practice and it's actually practiced in interior design uh, complementing colors on opposite sides so now you can see why I didn't want to have this open just because it would block that including the little cauldron base and I just like it showing I mean it still looks good it looks like the bedrooms being used if one's open but in this case I'm just doing that you get it um, okay so the next thing we're gonna get our banners here and kind of just lay them down like this and this is basically all I teach in the tutorial that I mentioned earlier uh, again available in the description below but using this design you can totally create some really cool looking drawers and cabinets to do this you just line item frames on the back get some sort of material that kind of represents a handle now for these I'm gonna do like pull out drawers whereas this one will be a cabinet so the door will open this way I would do that way but if you're in bed you open it up and you can kind of reach down there it's a little bit easier if the door is not in the way uh, so that'll complete all the stuff with the banners and I believe the trap doors and next I actually need a pressure plate I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in just to make it look less bare on the top and we are going to get our cactus here and flower pot and just kind of complement the leaves on the other side with another green over here and these actually all tie together well with the green in the bookshelves so it all kind of completes uh, once all three sides have been you know colorized and next we're gonna get our player heads and this should actually complete the design except for I think one more thing so I'm gonna put a clock right there obviously the most annoying place in the world for a clock but you gotta have it no bedroom would be complete without it and then we'll do some bookshelves I mean books a little stack of books and I guess face it that way I normally do it that way just because this is the viewing angle and that's kind of more complimenting but maybe that way would be better yeah that'll work and we have two more things to do we're gonna throw an armor stand here just to kind of look like a coat jacket or a coat jacket a jacket hanger or coat hanger thing um, so throw in some leather armor and that kind of completes that and then an item frame and a clock the clock is something I feel completes this design tenfold like I always add clocks when I'm doing a rustic design but that is basically it I don't think I'm forgetting anything uh, it's a very simple design obviously not really needed a tutorial for it but uh, I just kind of wanted to keep doing these I have fun with them it's kind of a challenge for me I like to you know build sets and I don't know it's, I think it's a good little tutorial series that we could do I'll call it Minecraft Ikea <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is basically how you build a rustic bedroom. Please let me know if you have any more tutorial requests, and I would be more than happy to do it. Oh, look, I'm wearing the armor. Uh, let's take those off. There we go. And I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> Thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And let me know any tutorials that you would like to see. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.
Dude, you guys have no idea how many like hand gestures I do. When I'm filming the intro of this, my hands were literally like up in the air like I was on a roller coaster. I think something is wrong with me.